Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is NSXT Data Center Initial Configuration, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're going to hit the IP address of the NSX Manager. We need to do this on HTTPS, not just HTTP, otherwise you won't get any response. Uh, and the first thing it's going to ask us to do is uh, agree to some terms and conditions and ask us if we want to join the customer experience program. It's so then going to show us an overview of the current system. Show us everything we have there uh, as far as networking, security, host firewall policies. Uh, it's going to give us a getting started button, more about fabric nodes, but there's a, a recommendation there that we should probably deploy more nodes because at the minute we've only got a single node and for highly high availability and resilience we could we it would be better to have a three node cluster but before we can do that we need to add a compute manager so this is essentially a vc a v center server in, in our case so we'll click on add and we'll type in a name for this compute manager as i said this one is our v center server on dot 20 we'll put in our um, vSphere uh, vCenter username and password if you're running vCenter server 7 or above there's a uh, an additional trust setting that we can enable we check the fingerprint we check the login credentials and now we've added that compute manager So we've got the Compute Manager, but we still don't have any nodes. We've not done anything with the nodes yet, um, and we've only got one appliance. So let's get started with adding another two appliances so that we can build a cluster. So our first appliance is that .41, the one we installed on the previous video. Now we're going to install a second appliance. So we'll stick in the FQDN for this appliance. I'm going to run this on dot 42 so my usernames and my IP addresses line up and you'll see when we try and add the net mask there's a particular format that it's expecting it in so when I try and add it it actually wants the side annotation for this rather than the full uh, the full net mask All the other settings are pre-populated from the previous one, and we're going to use a small. So you can pick a resource pool or a host, I always pick host. I'm going to put the second one on host, on my second host. And I've already got a data store that I've already created for it ahead of this video. And the network I'm going to select is a standard switch zero, VLAN zero. That all looks okay. So, and I just put in the root password again. Again, most people probably, because it's a 12 character password, will probably just double up the password they've used for vCenter unless that's already a long password. So, we're pushing out the second appliance. So, that's the second one deployed and we'll now move on to the third one. This is going to go on 43. And again all of the settings are the same and have actually been picked up from the first install. And again this one is going to be a small. Well, that looks okay. Again, we'll pick the host. I'll put the third one on the third host. And I think I've already set up a data store for this one too. And again, standard switch zero, subnet uh, VLAN zero. Well, that looks okay. And 
and they'll start deploying the third NSX manager. So with NSX managers, there's two things that are important. It's better to have more than one, and it's also good to have an odd number of appliances so that we can't ever have a split brain where half of them think one thing, half the other. It's better to have a, an odd number. So essentially, in a home lab, you'll probably have one, maybe three if you've got enough servers and in an enterprise you'd have three maybe five so more than one in a production environment but ideally an odd number so that there's always a majority even if they one of them gets disconnected so those are the three uh, appliances on 41 42 43 cluster is currently degraded because they're still trying to catch up with each other but what we're going to do whilst that's just catching up we're going to give it a virtual ip address or a vip so this will be a load balanced ip address in front of those three um, appliances or nsx managers one thing to be careful about here is obviously we're using ssl certificates here so if you are going to use a load balancer just make sure that your you've set up your ssl certificates correctly so that it will work uh, cluster is now stable they've all turned green so we have a a working three node cluster with a, a load balanced IP address of dot forty. And if I go to system overview, we'll just see where we are now. We've got three management nodes or appliances on a total of four hosts, no transport nodes uh, nodes and two transport zones already set up that are the defaults. So that was NSXT Data Center Initial Configuration, part of the vSphere 7 Hope Lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.